And tonight's KX Conversation, a day set aside to celebrate all things rural. Today is National Rural Health Day, and who better to talk about the importance of this day than the state's director for USDA's rural development, Aaron Oban. Aaron, thank you for joining us. Hi, everyone. How are you? Doing fine, thanks. Good, thank you, Aaron. Good. First, can you start by explaining why today is so important? So every year on November 17th, Americans recognize National Rural Health Day. And of course, health is much broader than just the infrastructure, the hospitals and clinics that we go into. Um, but today, uh, we wanted to celebrate the power of rural, which is National Rural Health Day's theme, um, to talk about the ways that USDA rural development is trying to support healthier people by making sure that we have healthy places to live in rural and tribal communities. There are obviously a lot of programs and resources available helping address those behavioral health challenges as well as expanding access to those who need it most. So how do people access all that's provided? Well, it, it is difficult to navigate systems and different levels of government, which help to you know partner with private philanthropic efforts with local leadership who decides that they want to invest in their rural communities. Uh, but with USDA rural development, sometimes it just starts with a phone call from people that says, this is what we want to do. Do you have anything that can help support it? Um, and so just in this last fiscal year, um, rural development alone invested over $156 million into healthcare infrastructure. That's like new hospitals, clinics, care facilities, um, recovery services, and to expand uh, services and upgrade equipment in places like Cooperstown and Mackville and New Rockford and Rollette County um, and Spirit Lake. So we are hitting all corners of the state to try to help people meet their needs. And that includes um, in, in accessing healthcare. What is USDA rural development's top priority at the moment, Aaron? Well, our mission is to improve the, the economy and quality of life for people in rural and tribal communities. And of course, with every uh, administration, there are additional priorities that come with that. We are making sure that equity is a focus in everything we do. So that's making sure that places like really rural and remote and tribal communities have access to the resources they need. Um, and we're also you know, investing in, in climate smart technologies, in, in modernizing um, our equipment. And so in whatever way that rural development can help our smallest communities to, to meet their goals, we want to make sure that we're here to hold their hand in doing that. And can you tell us one of the projects you're working on for 2023? Uh, well, that all depends on, of course, we can't announce any projects until they are, are ready to be announced. Uh, but we do already have folks applying for uh, our multitude, 50 some programs. Um, you might remember we just announced the, the assistance that we're providing to try to expand access to um, local meat processing. So all of these play a role in whether or not our communities are places where people want to live and work and raise a family. And uh, we don't want access to quality services to be one of those limiting factors in whether or not people decide where they want to live. Aaron, thank you once again for joining us today. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.